Hello bee people, welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk About Bees. Today we're gonna be talking about bee pollen. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so bee pollen. Um, I forgot on the last video to tell you about that uh, the bee products are divided uh, basically in two categories. One of them is um, collection products and the other one is secretion products. Uh, nectar, as we spoke uh, on the last video, is one of the collection products because bees go out to the flowers and collect them. Uh, it's the same with bee pollen. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the later videos about the secretion products uh, that are basically royal jelly, wax and uh, bee venom and those are secretion products because uh, the bees have glands in, in them uh, that, secrete, that secrete these products. Uh, so coming back to bee pollen, uh, bee pollen is one of the collection products because uh, bees have to go to flowers as well uh, to collect bee pollen. Pollen before becoming bee pollen uh, is located on the, in the flowers and if we make an analogy it would be the sperm of the flower. So when you hear about pollination what happens is that uh, because of the bees or other insects or even the air uh, pollen travels from one flower to another flower and pollinates <coughs> that flower. So why do bees collect uh, pollen? Um, as we saw on the previous video about uh, honey, uh, bees collect nectar because it's uh, an energy source for them because of the carbohydrates that the nectar has. Uh, in the case of the pollen, uh, bees collect the pollen because it's a protein source. So they go to the flowers, they gather the, um, the pollen on their hind legs and they carry it back to the hives. On the hives what they do is that they pack the pollen inside of uh, a single cell uh, on, the, um, on the comb and uh, it undergoes a process of fermentation. And that process of fermentation is useful for the bees because it converts or transforms uh, this bee pollen into what is called bee bread. And this bee bread, um, nutrition-wise, it's much better for the bees because the nutrients of the pollen are very accessible. Um, I'm gonna post a picture um, <clears throat> for you to see what actually uh, this pollen is. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, made of microscopic particles um, and each particle is packed with nutrients but the cuticle of the pollen of the a single particle uh, it's very hard uh, and to break it down in the case of the bees they have to uh, ferment it so uh, they can access these nutrients and it's very nutritious for them so why are the bees useful uh, for us humans uh, in regard to pollen? Basically there are th two things. One of them is, as I mentioned before, is the pollination. Uh, in countries like the United States, pollination is the um, uh, number one beekeeping industry. And that's because uh, the service provided by bees in pollination of commercial crops especially almonds in California, uh, but that there are many uh, others as well. Um, so pollination is, uh, is like the, the main thing that bees are used for. Uh, now the second thing is nutrition-wise for us humans as well, and that is that we can collect the pollen and uh, actually I have a surprise for you guys, but I'm going to hold that uh, for now. And I promise on the next video, I'm going to reveal something um, that uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to like. But anyway, um, bee pollen for human consumption um, is, uh, is very useful because uh, it is packed with nutrients. 
basically protein, very high quality protein, uh, because it has an amino acid profile that is uh, complete and very balanced. Uh, but it has also minerals and vitamins. So it's a whole food uh, that um, anyone who chooses to eat it uh, in a regular basis, it's, um, it's, a, it's a very complete food. So depending where you are in the world, uh, you might know this a little bit better or not. Uh, for example, in Eastern Europe, um, bee products in general are very uh, commonly used and uh, when you use all the products, um, it's what it's called apitherapy. Uh, it could be also called uh, apinutrition. So apinutrition would be the use of the uh, bee products in general uh, for human consumption. And um, in these times, it's, uh, it's being more widely used. Uh, in general, the honey uh, the bee pollen and other bee products for um, treating diseases as well. Um, this, this could be another topic because it's uh, um, research-wise uh, uh, there, uh, there are a lot of things uh, to be said about each of the products. So let me know in the comments below if you want to know more about uh, the health benefits of the bee products. So in regard to bee pollen, uh, very few people, at least in America, know what the pollen is and uh, what the pollen could do for you. Um, basically, as I mentioned before, is is a food. It's a whole food that is packed with nutrients. But uh, some of the, those nutrients uh, are antioxidants and you could, could relate those antioxidants to uh, prevention of many diseases. So besides being a whole food, it could have um, health benefits uh, for the human. Okay guys, so basically that's what uh, bee pollen is. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you won't miss on any future videos. And uh, click the thumbs up and uh, I'll see you on the next video.